Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel Tomcat Stitchery. I'm Whitney and we are here with day three of the Itch to Stitch book. So beautiful um, pattern preview <laughs> um, week. So there are eight patterns in the book, 18 variations total in the book. Um, and so I am highlighting a different pattern every single day over the next week in line with what Kenneth from Itch to Stitch is doing over on her social media accounts. So today I'm also talking about when I tested this time last year and then I remade seven of the eight and I'm showing you those new versions for colder weather um, this week as well. So today we are talking about the Prague and this is the Prague um, shirt and dress. It has a scoop neck version and a v-neck version and it is a knit cold shoulder top. Okay, I was not sold on the cold shoulder, to be honest. I, that's just not a trend that I have really gotten behind. But I was testing all of the patterns. I really wanted to test all of them. I was like, nope, I'm not going to do just seven. I want to do them all. So I tested this one as well. And I made it out of some gray cotton jersey that I had in my stash, which we all know is not one of my colors. Um, so this one probably is going to get donated. Um, but, you know, just because it's not one of my colors. However, when I made it up, it is so flattering. I think the shape of this shirt is so flattering. She has really just nailed it. So it's pretty loose through the body, um, but still gives a figure, like, still gives a shape. So it's just, it's not a skin tight top. It still gives a shape. So again, you could do a shirt version of this or lengthen and it can become a very, um, a loose and flowy dress. And definitely if you're, you know, doing a cotton spandex versus a rayon spandex, you can get a little bit different feel. So I made this one obviously in a cotton spandex and it's got these you know cute little bands and um, I made the scoop neck actually in both of these versions. Um, but she does have great instructions for how to do a v-neck. And I just loved the way that this fit. So I knew when, um, when the book came out and uh, that she was, you know, I wanted to highlight some patterns for cold weather. Now, a cold shoulder top is not a no-go for winters here in Indiana. You wanna be covered as much as possible in the winter here in Indiana. So what I did, obviously if you've ever sewn a cold shoulder top, you know that the sleeves look really weird and then you know the, the body of the um, top can be a little funky as well. Like it just comes in a little bit more. So what I did, there's another knit top in the book which is actually gonna be on Monday I'll be talking about called the um, a Rossi that has a, a sleeve. A, it's a knit top that also has a sleeve. And I actually just used the sleeve pattern because I love the shape of this t-shirt so much. I wanted to create just a basic t-shirt. So I used the sleeve pattern from that um, pattern and it fit just fine into this, um, into this pattern. Now, I do want to say, because there's a band that comes around the shoulder of this top, so when you're looking at, you know, the top here, there's this band piece that finishes off that, that um, um, shoulder, arm, the whole, <laughs> whatever. Uh, it's half of an inch wide. So I knew I needed to add half of an inch to my shoulder in order for the finished shoulder to sit um, where it needed to for my sleeve to go in. Um, technically, you would take the seam allowance away and then add back and then add your seam allowance. But, you know, you can also just add the half of an inch that gets added because the seam allowances cancel each other out when this is sewn. And when this is on my body, it was right where it needed to be um, when it was finished. So the seam allowance, anyway, to make things easy, all I did was add half of an inch <laughs> out on the shoulder line on both the front and the back and it was perfect for the sleeve. It sits right where it's supposed to. So um, because that's a half inch band, just know you can do that as well. Just take that top, add half of an inch to the front and the back, and then just attach the Arosi sleeve on there and you've got yourself a t-shirt, which is what I did. I used this cotton rib knit from my stash. Um, this I got at Zinx Fabric. There's no lycra in this, so it doesn't have great recovery. However, I really love the color. It's um, yeah, I, I, that's why I bought it. Uh, this is the same ribbing that I used on the jacket that I made my daughter, that little cropped bomber jacket. Anyway, and I knew that I kind of wanted to top out of the rest of the fabric, and so this is perfect. Um, made the size 8. I didn't make any adjustments other than that, other than the fact that I added the sleeve, long sleeve from the um, Arosi, which is the last pattern in the book, onto this. 
But other than that, that's all I did. And I think it made just a really good t-shirt. Again, it's fitted. It just has really nice shaping through the body, um, which is what I really liked about it. And so it's, yeah, I'm tempted to kind of play around with it as a t-shirt pattern and then just have those two pattern, you know, my adjusted pattern for this top and then the sleeve of the other one just kind of as my own little t-shirt pattern that I could hack and do whatever you want. Now, again, this one does have a v-neck version as well as the scoop neck. So right there, you have a couple of different neckline versions if you wanted to play around with that. But it could be a good base pattern too. Um, you know, I did all those t-shirts during t-shirt week. Um, and It's a Stitch retired their Idlewild um, t-shirt pattern. So um, this would actually be a really good replacement um, for that. So yeah, straight size eight. Um, I took an inch off the sleeves. I always have to take an inch off the sleeves. That's all I did to this one. Nice cover stitch, nice hem. I just think it makes a really great, oops, sorry, <laughs> base pattern, a great t-shirt. Um, and again, if you can't do the cold shoulder because we're going into cold weather, it just makes it, um, you able to still wear that pattern and still use that pattern in that book uh, for the colder weather as well. So it just makes it a little bit more versatile and it is such a good base t-shirt pattern, I think. So there you have it. That is the Prague. Um, you can go cold shoulder with it or you can add on the sleeve pattern from another one in the book and uh, that you have just a regular t-shirt. So there you have it. That was pattern three of the book um, and we'll be back tomorrow for pattern four. If you have any questions at all, leave them down below in the comments below. Um, I have a link to the book. It's in pre-order right now. The book will be out December 8th. Um, but if you are interested, I do have a link below. It is an Amazon affiliate link, which means I get a commission. Um, if you do use that link, just to be upfront about that, it's no extra cost to you. It's the same for you, but I do get a commission off of that, um, just so you know. Um, yeah, that's all I've got for today, guys. I hope you are enjoying this week of uh, <laughs> itch to stitch uh, book patterns, and I will see you guys tomorrow with pattern four. Bye!